Let's go to the southern part of the continent in Malawi. A young student's desire to connect his university with the local community puts him on the path of innovation. Africa 54's Paul Dio joins us now uh, to tell us about him. Paul? Uh, thank you, Vincent. Uh, innovation is happening across Africa. All, in all uh, different sectors uh, from education to energy, banking to agriculture, and in television broadcasting. Uh, in Malawi, a university student has created a community station, one that he hopes uh, will transmit social events are uh, taking place on campus. Jisomo Dakar is a student at the University of Malawi's Chancellor College. He is pursuing a degree in education science and he's trying to make his mark in the television broadcasting industry. By his own admission, he says that he's not an engineer by training, nor does he claim to know much about engineering. But his love and passion for telecommunications has inspired him to build yeah, yeah, from scratch yeah, yeah. a community yeah, actually, television yeah. station codenamed Analog TV Project. What I'm trying to do here is uh, trying to transmit television uh, throughout the campus. Okay, of late we have a need to transmit uh, television. We would want to broadcast whatever students have, whatever technologies, whatever uh, projects, or whether it's uh, drama, whatever social issues happening. Before his first broadcast test signal, he was just a normal student. And few students knew about his innovation. Today, Chisomo Daka has created a name for himself as the new kid on the block. His community TV station is a hit on campus, and everybody is talking about him. He says operating out of the norm is what drove him to be innovative. I've had so much interest in telecommunications, particularly uh, I've been, uh, I've been uh, working so much on audio transmission and I also happen to have developed a wireless mic. I also happen to have developed a small scale radio station. All right. So now I was looking at it as not just that. All right. So I wanted to do much further than that. So now I thought of how do I then uh, come with a video and audio transmission more like a television transmission. Dakar is definitely yeah. one of the few young talented Malawians are focused on changing the image of his beloved country. He argues that more and more viewers are asking for more content that reflects their realities, a quality that he says has been lacking in Malawi. So I'm using a stabilized power supply to power my transmitter. This is my transmitter. And on this transmitter, I have a knob. I have a jack where I put in my uh, transmitting antenna. So this goes to the transmitting antenna, which you see here. So this is what transmits whatever signal is being produced by the transmitter. And on the other hand, when the signal has been transmitted, I have a receiving antenna, which I also designed. This one, it's a Z antenna. This is uh, actually connected to the client's uh, television for the purposes of capturing the signal which is being transmitted. Television broadcasting is booming across the continent and young innovators are leading the way. But the industry is not without its challenges. Students at Malawi University Chancellor College hope that Dakar's analog TV project will support teaching and e-learning by broadcasting course content for e-learning by recording lectures, conference speakers, fine arts performances, and special events on campus. In my next report, I will take you to East Africa, where a Ugandan startup, Ori Bags Innovation, is turning agricultural waste into environmentally friendly paper bags and other products.